everybody. Thank you for tuning back in to KSGW. We're here with a very special and unique interview. We've got one of our fans, and we're a huge fan of her work as well. We have the wacky writer, Deanna. Deanna, how are you doing today? Hey, everybody. Happy to be here. Well, thank you, Deanna, for coming on to our show. We really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here with us. Um, Deanna has a novella out on Wattpad, as well as another short story, and is working on a romance anthology that will be published at the end of the year. Thank you again, Deanna, for being on the show. We've got a couple questions to throw at you today. Is that all right with you? Sure. All right. So I'm sure these are things that some people are dying to know. you got to crap ton of twitter followers out there so i'm sure they they have a few questions so uh first question today how and when did you know that you wanted to become a writer uh when i was younger um i used to watch dawson's creek and i actually wanted to be an editor because i wanted to be like joey potter on the show um i even wanted to go to boston go to college just like she did because i love love the show um so from there it just kind of started and I started writing and I enjoyed writing and editing and yeah very interesting answer there Deanna so can I ask you this is a a question that we don't need a real answer for but what percentage of people do you think could survive on the creek (laughs) well (laughs) well can you survive can you I sur- could have survived on the creek. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. Do you think that's something a lot of people can say for themselves? I don't know. It's a lot of drama. A lot of drama on a the lot creek. Of teen drama. All right. <laughs> all right, Deanna, moving away from the creek. Naturally, as an author, we have to ask you this. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. It was the first big girl book I got to read my mom got it from the library and told me it was okay to read it and yeah it's a really good book check it out if you haven't read it okay I remember my first big girl book um (laughs) but I wanted to uh just tell us a little bit about the book what's it what's it about uh something crashes in this little boy's backyard Uh, he basically goes and checks it out and then he gets taken into a different world and basically he is met with creatures and supernatural things and the only way for him he's got to fight them and do different things that's the only way for him to get out of the world basically um gotcha really cool fantasy book so yeah gotcha not a romance at all (laughs) no worries Uh, well it definitely doesn't sound like a romance but do you think people should stay out of the woods I think everyone should stay out of the woods. Yes, I write romance, not horror. There are reasons for that. Yeah. So not a fan of horror at all? No, I love horror movies. I just don't think I could write horror. Not saying I would never try, but I don't think that's my cup of tea. I'm a scaredy cat. It is what it is. I hide my eyes through every movie. Definitely uh, understandable there. Now, uh, speaking of which, I hope the woods is not the answer to this next question. What do you do for inspiration, or where do you like to write? (laughs) It's definitely not the woods. I uh, don't really have a certain place. I do have a beautiful office, but I don't go in there much. Not really sure why. Um, I do if I really, really need to focus. But my favorite is usually just my big comfy chair with my laptop in my lap and just going with it inspiration and it could be from anything a song you hear you could be walking down the street and see a tree and it sparks something comes from all kinds of different places for me and i just write it down well i really hope that trees aren't sparking where you're coming from (laughs) because that leads to fires and (laughs) we're not sparking they're not that's good well i don't know if anyone told you this i hope they did but we are a video game channel Mm -hmm. yes i know okay good so um, naturally we have to ask you a question pertaining to video games so what is your favorite video game character who is your favorite video game character growing up i loved mortal kombat and i loved street fighter played them a lot my dad and my brother both loved those games growing up so my favorite character was definitely Sonya Blade at Mortal Kombat. She was awesome. I wanted to be her. So, well, yeah. Wanted to be Sonya Blade. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair. So, uh, obviously, they made that into a movie back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, what is your your kind of take on Bridget Wilson's portrayal of the character? Um, she was kind of mean to Johnny Cage. I didn't really like that because he was my movie boyfriend back then. Loved him. And but she was a great actor. She's a great actress, and she's she's she did a great job. Okay, wonderful. I can think that uh, we all can relate and say that we had a crush on Johnny Cage. Uh, you know, <laughs> kind of. I love Bridget Wilson and Billy Madison. Still laugh yes. to that to the day. Yes, it was a great movie. Loved it. Yeah, still a classic. We love classics here at KSGW. So. Moving on to the next question. Um, if you were not a writer, what would you aspire to be? I would l have loved to be an interior designer if I wasn't pursuing my writing career. Uh, I love HGG HGTV. I love all the shows, uh, Bargain Hunters, Property Brothers, all of it. Property Brothers, huh? I've seen that one before. That's with the two pretty guys that, that buy houses and flip them. Yes. So, do you think they're too well-dressed to be construction guys? Uh, no. One is actually a real estate agent, so he has... <laughs> That's a dog, everybody! <laughs> I was not under the impression that we were having dogs in the studio today. <laughs> Oh, he still wants to talk. Jack, that is uh, actually Jack, which is my namesake on the gaming channel. So he apparently is mouthy. So, uh, Deanna, back to the Property Brothers. Uh, okay, no, I, I do not think they're too pretty. Like I was saying, the one is a real estate agent, so that makes sense. The other one, he's, no, he picks up a hammer once in a while, but no, he's, he, they're very pretty, but you can be pretty and be in construction. Shows you how much I know, but there you go, all you hammer swingers and drywall men. Uh, you are not too pretty to swing a hammer. All right, moving on to the next question. This one's a little biased here at the studio. What is your favorite KSGW video? My favorite video is the Halloween video with Michael Myers. Like I said, I love horror movies, so I really thought that video was fun. Wonderful. I remember that video. I was actually in it. Uh, and also Maj from KSGW was in it. That was actually Maj's debut acting uh, role. What did okay. you think? Uh, he died very well. Did a great job. <laughs> he was fat. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Loved it. Well, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Um, you know, we had a really fun time with it. And, uh, you know, it's it's always fun to do those kind of things. Step out and do something different. So, thank you. Uh, for those of you that have not watched that video, uh, it is uh, KSGW Halloween Special is what Deanna is speaking of. So, uh, make sure to check that out. It's got some horror aspects to it. So, moving on. Last question. I know you are pressed on time. You have things to do, like publish stuff. So... <laughs> Um, the last question for you today is for all of those young aspiring writers out there, all those people that are trying to make it in this dog eat dog world and get their word out on the page, what is your advice? Well, I have two pieces of advice. My number one would be keep writing. Uh, no matter what it is, just, just write. I know it's super cliche, but write a blog post, write a note, anything, anything that sparks something, just, just write it down. Um, it really helps you learn, you know, your voice and things like that. Uh, and then my other suggestion would be to get your get get your work out there. Don't be scared. Be a featured guest writer on a blog. I've been doing it all month long uh, with on my blog, and it's been great for people who have never even seen their work published. They're just taking the chance. So take the chance and and just. Don't be scared. Well, there you have it, guys. Fear will hold you back, so don't be afraid to get everything out there. Uh, Deanna, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show today. This, you know, very highly exclusive interview that people are <laughs> clamoring for all over the place. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to, you know, make sure you check out some of Deanna's work on Wattpad. Uh, we have Unbreakable Currents, her novella. Um, it's sure to get a rise out of you in more way than one, if you know what I mean. Um, and then also check her out on Twitter, handle at Jack Deanna. Um, she does all kinds of questions on there. She has like weekly writer chats. It's really, really fun. Um, 
Um, and make sure to, if you're an aspiring writer, get on there. Don't be afraid to communicate. The writing community out there is great. Um, for all you video game fans that tuned into this for something that's different, uh, make sure to, uh, you know, get your Twitch out there. Get your YouTube. You know, never be afraid to be yourself. Um, you know, do what makes you, uh, you. And don't be afraid of that. So kind of... Uh, Letting you guys off the hook, we got to let Deanna get back to writing. Um, so, as always, guys, this is Jackaroo coming at you with KSGW. Kill them scrubs, get them dubs. Don't be lames. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and anything else on social media that gets us any kind of notoriety. We really do appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful afternoon.